So in this video, I'll be doing a bloom technique uh, using Artessa paints, so stay tuned. Hey, it's Susan King here, and if this is your first visit to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Welcome. This YouTube channel is mostly about uh, acrylic pouring. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful bloom. So let's get started. I have the uh, box of 14 pouches that I'm using two colors out of. Um, this is what they look like. And out of this one here, I also have my 60 box of 60 Arteza colors. And this is what they look like. These ones are 22 milliliters. And these ones are 120 milliliters of pouches. So I'm using five colors out of here and two colors out of the uh, pouches. My colors are Arteza Pearl Sapphire Blue. I'm using Magenta Light. I'm using Thalo Blue, Prussian Blue, yep, and Emerald Green. That's the tubes. I am using Black and White Cell Activator together out of the pouches. This one is titanium white and this one is Mars black. So I'm going to be um, adding the colors in a in a puddle and then I'm going to be putting the, the black cell activator on first after the colors and then the white on top of it and then below. My recipe will be in the description below the video. I'm not going to explain it right now. Um, I'm using a canvas, uh, two round canvases, two tiered canvases. I actually glued them myself. Um, this one is a 10, 10 inch canvas and this one's seven. So I'm going to be using that today and I'm going to be using my spinner. So I'm going to begin. I'm applying my, my base coat. I'm going to make sure this is in the middle. Okay, pretty sure it's in the middle. Just going to make sure that everything is in view for now. All right, ready to pour. I'm going to pour, I'm going to let it run down the, uh, the sides so it goes on to the next canvas. So I'm putting quite a bit of paint on here. Let's see if that's enough. I'm just going to spin it so it spreads it.
Okay. Now I'm going to just add a little bit more to the top to make sure that there's a pillow underneath my circle, my circle of colors. So just a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to add the phthalo blue first. Drip that. I think I have to add quite a bit of color to this. And hope that's okay. Now the um, emerald green. I should have added more blue, but we'll see. If I think I ha don't have enough once I finish adding the colors, I will um, add um, a couple more layers. Just want to show you the consistency of my paint. I hope you can see that. makes a, a small mound and then disappears. Okay. Then, oh that was the uh, magenta. Now I've got the um, Pearl blue. Yeah, it's the purple. Okay, now the Prussian blue. And my, my, um, first cell activator that I'm going to apply is black so I am going to add the magenta again just so it's not black on on a dark color but it doesn't matter really I guess because I'm using white as well but just in case it makes a difference I'm going to add some more of that um, I don't know if that's too much and not enough. Okay, so I think I might add some more Prussian blue on top. And a pearl. And a little bit more of the magenta. All right, that should be good enough. Okay, I am going to lower the camera, put you on an angle so that you see how I blow. Am I blowing? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add the cell activators, starting with the black. The cell activator is just a little bit thinner consistency than the than the other colors. Just gonna put a little bit more on. Okay, now white. Oops. 
and I didn't check before if I had any air bubbles and I'm looking right now and I don't see I don't see any except for one here tiny one here and none Ready. I'm ready to blow this. <clears throat> it is gone off center a little bit, so I'm just gonna slide it over. Okay. Making sure I'm right over the center. I didn't get very many cells. Not very many cells. They got more before. Hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? I was thinking of adding more and then blowing again. Once maybe wait. I should wait till it right and it's gone back up. I waited. The center needs to go back up a bit. I could have added too much. I'm going to try it again. I'm just going to add more here. I could be making a big mistake. And again, I've put too much, I think. Let's try this again. it at that. We got more that time. I'm just <clears throat> centering it. Okay, I'm going to bring you back over top. I like it better now. It's looking cool. Now I'm going to raise it up. Center it. All right, I'm getting get my napkins ready because it's going to go over the sides. So, start to spin for you. I'll give it a quick wipe.
one keeps moving. <laughs> very dark it's very very dark I like the middle I think it's okay probably put added too much of the blue and the black cell activator there's a lot of black here but I like it. I like I like this part in here. Okay, I'll show you a close up of it. Let's bring it up to show you a close up. In close up it looks really nice. But far away dark. I really like it though. I like it. Alrighty. I will uh, I will let this dry and let's see if I can dry it. show you the dried results right at the end of this video. Hello and I'm back with the dried results. Dried really nice. Nice and smooth. A little shiny. I love the new um, new uh, paints that I'm using. They dry shiny, uh, so I don't really have to varnish. So um, I'll show you a close up. I'll show you the sides. light. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, if you like this video, please sub and like and check out the other videos of mine appearing on the screen. Have a wonderful day.